What up guys, Janus here with another tutorial. Uh, this was a requested tutorial by a guy who wanted to know how to do a flashing to the beat effect. So, it flashes to the beat obviously. And I'm going to teach you how to do that and in Sony Vegas. So, oh, uh, going to make a new project. No. Uh, and what you need is um, Sony Vegas, a song, uh, preferably with a good beat, uh, since this will be much easier with a song with a good beat. Um, so, and you need a clip, obviously. Uh, I'm just gonna drag in this uh, random gameplay. That's good enough. And what you want to do is zoom in on the uh, audio, your song, and you see where the beat is, where you know where the sound sound waves are thick and high and strong. You want to press M for for a marker. Markers are really really good tool if you want to do some syncing like we are doing now. So add a marker on every uh, you know beginning of every beat where it's strong and if your song is not this you you can see clearly here where the beats are but if your song is looks more like uh, you, you can't really see the beat then you have to listen to the song while while and while you're listening to it in Vegas you uh, add markers uh, instead of doing this not listening to the song uh, but this works out uh, as fine as uh, as not listening to the song so both both the methods work good so I'm gonna add a few markers I have about seven markers now and now we're gonna do the whole flash thing uh, so yeah we're gonna go to where uh, we're gonna go to and select oh, sorry we're gonna go select our clip and add uh, video effects brightness and contrast so do like that and then you gotta hit animate because we do want to animate it and be sure to have the sync cursor to media timeline checked because otherwise when you move this it won't move in the timeline so check that so it moves so it's synced and you wanna zoom in on this uh, so we have a little better precision and you wanna go a little bit before the first marker and add a keyframe then you wanna move forward to where the marker is and pop the brightness up to about 40 something like that depends on how you like it and then you go forward a few frames and drag it down to zero again so now we have all the keyframes we need uh, maybe you wanna put this uh, like the fading out of the flash a little longer I think that looks kinda cool so I'm gonna do that and we're gonna select all of the three keyframes by selecting one of them on the edges and hold while holding shift clicking on the other uh, edge you you know what I mean if yeah so you select these three and hit control C to copy them and go a little bit before the next marker and hit control V so now we have another flash and we're gonna go do the same thing with all of these markers so yep like that okay so now we're done with the flash and uh, this should probably look uh, pretty good but uh, otherwise you can just go and adjust this uh, the brightness and and the keyframes and everything uh, but we're gonna take a look at this 
except after I've pre-rendered it so now we have a little nice pre-render here and we're gonna watch the clip so that looks really good we can take a look at that again that is uh, in my opinion a good sync uh, and flashing with the beat so that's pretty much it I hope you uh, found this tutorial to be helpful and please check out my channel uh, got some cool intros and tutorials on there and please give me some feedback on this tutorial and let me know what you think in the comments or sending me a message or liking or disliking the video so yeah uh, see you later